Previously, we send emails with this method here from and to subject and react. And we saw that with to, we can send either um, a string or an array containing several string. So let's have a close look at these two and what are the possibilities and what's happening when we send several uh, emails. Two is for primary contacts. It's used for emailing individual or multiple contacts and email addresses are viewable by everybody that is on the list. Let's give an example now. Here I'm going to add a, a new email, let's say guillaume at yopmail.com, then another, which will be kevin at gmail.com, and I could add tons of email here. The maximum is 50. If I go to Postman and I click on send, my email will be sent. Here I got my response. And if I go to Gmail, we can see here that we've got an email received by no reply at guillaume, codewithguillaume.com. And we see here that we've got a list of every recipient. So be safe if you want to send email, you got to know that every address with two are going to be viewable but by all the recipients actually. If you go on the official documentation of Resend on Send API down there, the post that we make, here we see that we've got our two which is required and we see here that we've got maximum 50 address that we can add, so as a string or a string within an array. We got the subject and we've got down here the BCC for example. So let's look at the BCC now. BCC is for tertiary contacts and stands for blind carbon copy. It hides the email addresses of recipients from each other. So the opposite of what we just saw with two. Prevents also accidental reply or response and finally email addresses are viewable only by the sender. Let's give an example now. So we need to have at least one, two to do that. And then if I go down and if I add BCC and finally I had my array down there, I can send this email now with a BCC. So I come back here to Postman, I click and then it's going to send the emails. And back on Gmail, we can see here that I got an email that has been sent to an address and here we don't see the BCC, of course. Another option, it's the CC for recipient email address. CC is for secondary contacts and stands for carbon copy in emails. It's used to send copies of an email to additional recipient. So if you want to send an email to somebody and you want other people to receive it, you use CC. Then, you gotta know that email addresses on CC are viewable by all. Now let's come back to here and instead of BCC here, I'm going to type just CC and we're gonna send the email. I'm going to click here. And when I look at the address here, we can see into the details that as a CC, we can see that I got the address that I put and I got also the two that is up here. So most of the time when you wanna send emails, and you want to hide the recipients, you are going to use BCC. However, here is a solution you might be very interested in because here we combine two with a bunch of emails. But in this example, we don't want that our recipients see the other recipients. So look at this. Here I got a list of emails of people I want to send email to. And it's going to be the same email. And let's say that here we've got the email in this list. However, it can arrive as a parameter from the post uh, that we can put into the, in the request, actually, when we post on the API endpoint that we've got here. And here I got a promise, a promise all. And this promise all is coming from a list of promises. And those promises, it's a chain of calls made with the SDK of FreeSend. So let's have a quick look here. I give you a bonus. Probably in the list of emails that you are going to send to your SDK, you would have some duplicates. And here to avoid duplicates, I'm just doing first a new set of email. This is here the bonus that I'm giving to you in case of uh, you have uh, errors or probably you have duplicates and you're gonna send twice the same email. Here you avoid to send twice the same email. All right, 
So when we get a list of images here, we are mapping, and when we map here, we store the request. And we use every recipient email to uh, just put it here as a, as a value to the key to that is going to be used into the send method as a parameter. So we've got our object here, and we see here that we got also a reply to, which is cool um, with uh, resend. It's also that you can change the reply email you want to use. So we're going to try this. So we send the address to no reply, and we would like to have a reply to to support. All right. And at the end, what I'm doing here is that I'm just I just trigger actually my promise all with all my email promises. So why we would do something like this? First, because if you loop accidentally and you want to send 50 emails um, with no promises, you are going to hurt actually uh, a wall. <laughs> you are going to be rejected by the resend API because you cannot flood with 50 calls at once uh, your um, actually the recent API and your account. So here we just chain the promise with the promise all and we send everything here and when it's done, what I do here simply, so this is not a best practice or bad practice or whatever, it's just an example for this course. What I'm returning here is a status and then the response. So I will have the status of every response that I got in here. So let's try, let's try to send this request and let's take a look after at what will be the header of our email and our email itself. So I'm coming back to Postman. I'm going to click on send right away. And here we see that it takes the exact same time as a, only one request. And we've got our responses. And here we see that we don't get any error. We got our data, but we don't get any error with the ID of each submission down there, which is really cool. When I come back to my email, I go down to my email and I can see that I got nothing else than my mail by, so the send.com with yum.com. I got my to, and we see that I got my reply to. And what's happening in here is that if I click here on reply, I'm going to have by default the address that I put here as reply to. So support at codewithguillaume.com, which is cool because I don't want people to be able to just click up here on uh, no reply. In this video, we saw that Resend offers us all the possibilities to send multiple emails, bulk emails, and it passes by the usage of two, CC or BCC. And we can also use the no reply key to put the value that we want and to force people to reply to us to our reply to address.